Nobody used street directories anymore, but if the boys had had one, they would have been able to see just how big Haslam's Creek Cemetery really was. It took up the whole page of a map, bigger than many of the nearby suburbs, and the boys were right in the middle of it. Not that they could visibly see that. Trees rose up in all directions, lone pines, native gum trees, crazy monkey puzzles, gnarled bushes and wild scrub, all obscuring the horizon. The two boys left the tarmac road for an overgrown path of weeds and crabgrass to sneak down. The headstones on either side of them were not from this century or the century before it, but the century before that one, a colonial time that had refused to etch itself on the imagination of the boys, no matter how many times their teachers had tried to teach them about it. They could hear the crackle of timber. Glancing at each other, they kept along the path, edging nearer to this brightly lit grove of trees, and then when the flames came finally into view, a weird chill ran through Barry 